Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, Virginia Handyman. I bought me this uh, Best Choice Products wheelchair carrier. I'll post a link to Amazon on it. Um, I read on the reviews that a lot of people are having issues with assembly of this thing. So I figured, uh, why not throw together a little YouTube video? I mean, uh, this is the kind of thing I do. So uh, let's get to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to unbox this thing. I've got a couple of cameras going here. I'll eventually put a head camera on too um, so that we can uh, see how this thing goes together. We'll unbox it. Um, yeah, uh, they said that the instructions were very vague. This is the assembly instructions. Um, there's not that many pieces to it though. You've got your main support bar, your frame, your uh, three crossbars it looks like. And uh, that's pretty much it. You've got a couple of bolts. Um, I understand there is some issues with having to drill some of the uh, some of the stuff didn't line up, so if we have that issue, I'll pull one of the cameras and make sure we can see what's going on. Alright, so let's get the unboxing. Got some reflective strips here, should be two of these. No, only one. I got some more I'll put on. I'll leave her in. So I took the liberty of taking the top off. And this thing is heavy. The box said it was 67 pounds, I think. Um, but uh, I'm just going to drop the box open. wraps that didn't make it. Okay, you have your, you have your main basket here. This is your support bar. somewhere to lay my parts. I'll just lay them right here. A little step stool. Yeah, apparently this stuff was tie wrapped to this thing. But uh Tie wraps didn't did not make the ride. All right, so it shows in the instructions. I'm going to grab the instructions again.
They show this for this thing to be upside down. You align your large support bar to start with. I got one more bolt right here. Depending on which way you want this gate to drop, whether you want it to drop on driver's side or on passenger side, will depend on which way you put this bar on. Right now, the way I have it, you flip it over. I pretty much got it the way they got it uh, in the picture. I think that's uh, going to be passenger side and uh, I would suggest passenger side because if you're unloading on a uh, road that doesn't have your you know your parallel parking or something then you're going to want to unload onto the sidewalk not out in the middle of the street so with the Opening to the right. I'm going to flip it just to make sure. I know that's the way they got it in the picture. We just flipped it back over that big putting the bar out on this side. This has a made in China sticker and we'll put that up. Hopefully it will everything will align then. Now when you're assembling this. Do not tighten any of your bolts till you get everything, all your bolts drop through. You can start your nut on. Don't tighten anything until you got it all together. Because uh, if you don't, you end up with trying to move stuff around and it's not going to line up. So let me get some wrenches to fit this. Okay, so I got some wrenches. Uh, looks like these things are 11 16 just going to unload all my bolts and stuff right up under here. And then bolt over here. Put this little reese here. Okay. They are giving you three flat washers. So, to me, that would only make sense that you put this bolt through, like this, leave a flat, put a flat on, and being as I didn't get my support bar, I'm just going to start a nut to hold it for a second. See what a reason why you 
you would want a flat washer between those two. Maybe it was just an extra. I think it was just an extra. So. You got three of those bolts, three of the long bolts. on this one too. I don't know why they do that. on each one of these so I guess I'm going to put uh, three washers on all of them so what the what that would mean is that when you put these long bolts in you get that bolt through here through this main shaft drop your washer on there drop this on here then drop your washer on there your lock washer. Now, real quick, let me show you something. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this with a camera. But if you look at that washer, this side has a little bit of a ridge. This side, you can it's kind of rolled and rounded. You want to put the rounded side up. The ridge side goes down. So what I'm going to do, set this bolt through here. Wash it on. Keep this guy around. Washer, lock washer. Your flat washer goes on the top, flat washer in the middle. Then between the two rods, you got a flat washer on your bolt. Flat washer between your two bolts, between your two rods. And that takes a little bit of work to line up, but it's not that big of a deal. Just keep working with it. You can even run a little screwdriver down through there if you need to. Lock, uh, flat washer, lock washer. So that one is ready to go. So being as that one is ready to go, what I'm going to do now, since I have to drill a hole, I'm going to remove this. Take a little water water out of the middle. Let me get a screwdriver to pop that out. Get my 
trusty drill, half inch drill bit. Now if you have this situation and you don't feel comfortable with drilling it out or you don't have the bolt, um, go get you a 3 8 bolt or call the company. But I hear trying to get anything through the company is, from what I've heard, is uh, quite a pain in the keister. So I'm just going to drill it out, put a bolt in it. It's a good idea not to put the washer and lock washer for your other bolt with your bolt. 
always have it in the other hand. So, here we go. Same thing. Flat washer, which, by the way, is on upside down. Flat washer. And may as well chase that down now. Just for information, I had read where some people had to drill out the holes or whatever. These bolts are substantial. It's a 7 16 hole. It maybe it's been something done to them that uh, they decided that, yeah, they needed to do something. So they increased the size of the holes. They don't, with, uh, hole alignment and being able to get the bolts through. Now, next thing you do, take your ratchet, your wrench, like I said, it's 11 sixteenths. Actually, I think it's a 17 millimeter. Or a 16 millimeter, but uh, I'm not going hunting my metric wrenches and sockets right now. And uh, I would pull these down pretty tight, pretty damn snug. on the bottom I have no clue maybe I'll put it on the top this time you damn sure don't want this thing to be moving now since I've Already got the 11 16ths on here. I'm gonna go ahead and run that end one down. Normally, I would tighten from one end to the other, and uh, that way you kind of stretch it everything as you go along. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and snug this one. piece here goes up on here and it's supposed to slide up on the end of your reese. Let's turn around this way so you can see it on this side. This will slide up on the end of your reese. These bolts here will snug down to where it tightens up on your actual frame that goes around the end of your reese. Okay, so like I was saying before my battery went dead, these will this will slide up on your big square piece of your reese and tighten down with these bolts. 
and help to make this thing more stable. Now, I'm going to flip it over. We'll go ahead and put the gate on it just to see what it looks like right now. But I'll be honest with you, when I am handling this thing and putting it on the truck and off the truck, I will leave that gate off of there. That removes about 25, 30 pounds off of it. Oh yeah, I'd say that's every bit of 25, 30 pounds. So we'll flip it over, see what it looks like. Like I say, it's my recommendation that you don't put this gate on until you get it on the vehicle. But I'm just going to put it on here for demo purposes. pins that go in there. It's just spring loaded. Pops open like that. Slide it up in the hole. And there you go. She's a symbol. I'll demo how to put it on a truck and probably show you. Uh, I actually bought this to load and unload a snow blower because when I put the ramps on the truck. My truck sets about yay high. My ramps are at about <laughs> this kind of angle. Wasn't comfortable loading and unloading a snowblower like that. So when I, uh, I probably will back the truck up here in just a little bit and we'll demo how to put this thing on, how everything should be setting. And then, uh, I'll try to get some shots when I put the snow blower up on there. So, be back in just a little bit. It's cold as I'll get out today, so uh, I'm going to do it quick outside. One little note. I went to take a gate back off because I'm going to put it on the truck, of course. These spring pins are a whole lot harder to put the spring on from the out from the inside so when you put them in put them in from the inside out then it's a whole lot easier to get your hand in here and unspring this thing just a note okay welcome back I wanted to show you the angle at which this ramp is at and I'm probably stepped up into my garage here about four inches. So if you figure four inches, the angle of that thing was about like that when I went to unload it. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. That's kind of a steep angle. I wasn't comfortable with that. So that's why I got this little wheelchair ramp to load my snowblower. So let's put the uh, basket on and we'll see what she looks like. All right, remember me telling you about how this piece works. If you see, there's a hole pretty much up in here. This is going to slide over that piece. Not going to work that way. So I'm going to have to turn it upside down. She'll slide over that piece kind of like that, and it will snug up, you'll tighten it up, and it will keep the, help keep that rack from doing this number. 
if it doesn't, I'll strap it off to the to the uh, holes in the bed and ratchet strap it. But uh, let's get him up on here. So what you want to do? Slide that on upside down, the hole facing toward the truck. And let it slide on back. Now, being as heavy as this thing is, I would set it up in the wreaths just like that. Get it, get it to where she's just barely setting in. Come back here to the back, lift, and slide him in. Once you get him up in there, you can line up your pin, just kind of wiggle him forward and backwards. Or you can get down and look at it. Seeing him now. And what you could do, once you get this thing set where you where you're pretty close, could take paints to hit it right here with some white spray paint. She's in. Now, see how wobbly it is right now? Hopefully when I slide this piece up on here and tighten everything down, it'll lock, it'll lock it in and tighten it up. So let's see what she does. Feels a little awkward. Almost got to lay on the ground to do it. Him up tight against the hitch and start pulling these bolts down. Try to pull them down individually. Snug one and check the other. And snug it again. Snug it again. Snug it again. Oh my goodness. That made a world of difference. Look at how sturdy this thing is now. Remember how she wobbled before? She's not going to wobble now. Now the load your gate. Hold it back a little bit, you'll line these pins up, slide it up, slide it forward, and I should grab the clip. Now, the instructions show these going inside, I don't agree, I think outside, going from the inside out, would work a lot better. crazy but okay one thing I forgot to do the reflective tape you want to put that right here just kind of peel it back off here make sure your hands are pretty clean because you don't want a bunch of dirt on here and I'm going to center him up as best as possible stick him down all right, she's installed. Now it's just getting over to my mom's house, grabbing the snowblower and loading it so you can see what it looks like. But I think it's going to work amazing.
Let me move this camera. I'll show you what this ramp looks like when it's down. Now I have heard from a bunch of people. Oh my goodness, yes. I feel a whole lot more comfortable about that. Let me grab the camera and I'll pull it back where you can see it. feel a whole lot more comfortable about that camera at that ramp angle than I did the ramp angle coming off the tailgate. Like I say, I'll load the snowblower, get some shots, we'll go from there. Alright, welcome back. We're over at my mom's house. I got the rack out of the truck on the ground. Get ready to load it back into the grease. And uh, I'm going to load the snowblower and let you see how that does. It a whole lot tighter. Oh yeah. Oh, one thing I did notice yesterday. Got the looking. There was a quarter key laying in the floor. It's supposed to be a quarter key goes in this little pen. I am not putting it in because I want to be able to take the gate off, lay it in here as a as a need, transport it. I'll just strap it down when I put it in there. So we'll take our pins out. Slide the gate on. Okay. One 
thing I need to check. Okay, one thing I'm going to need to check. I think the ramp's going to hit my handle. And that it is. So, we will back it up here. What? Said, that was good thinking. Oh yeah, I, I was trying to figure out how you were gonna see it. I I'd already thought about it. Plus, backing it up here, I put the handle. I put the starter handle on the outside. I don't have to try to climb up there. Reach in here and start this thing. and everything with the snow that wouldn't be good to try to climb up that thing but going to the side looks like it would work pretty well yeah that's what i was looking at once i got up there i was like maybe a loop from the side it's got it slips a little bit i'm wondering how well that's going to do in the snow It looks good sitting up there. Oh, it sure does. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to pull it forward or push it forward. Pretty much right up on the gate. You still smell a needle on that motor. Sun, but there you have it.
cold as crap out here. It's like single digits. But uh, it works like a champ. Does exactly what I planned on it doing. Just get, had to figure a th few things out. Um, and uh, I do have to load it in reverse so I can get the gate back up. But that's fine. That's not a big deal. Uh, I'm wondering how the ramp is going to be with some snow on the ground. But uh may have to get some chains for the tires. But appreciate you watching. Hope you subscribe to my channel. We'll do more things like this in the near future. May even do some snow blowing videos if we get some freaking snow. Cold as crap, I ain't had no snow. But appreciate it. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.